Hi, welcome to Cubase 4 Tutorials. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks regarding creating templates. In everyday work in the studio, we lose a lot of time actually creating workspace, or creating audio, setting up the cables, mixers, and all of that. So uh, one part we can actually do ahead of, of the time before the, the, the band or client comes in is actually start creating our templates. Um, Cubase comes with lots of templates, but I like actually creating my own because I can specify exactly what I want to use. And here I'm going to start with uh, 16 mono channels. I'm going to dedicate 10 of the channels to drums and the rest of them to the bass and guitars. First I'm going to add some folder tracks. For you actually that are new to this and never used folder tracks, I suggest you watch the folder track video. Uh, but real quick, I'm going to dedicate these three folder tracks put, uh, and separate uh, channels by instrument. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to take first hand select and go to drums. Two more. Press shift, move down the cursor, take it to the bass, and the last four. I'm going to put in guitars. There are two ways how I can actually name all of this. I can do this from here, right? Or I can uh, select the folder track and, and double click here on the name and, and do it from here. Or I can call up the mixer and, and actually set up what I need, depending what I'm going to do. All right. I'm going to do it from here. So uh, start naming the channels by the instruments and the way I'm going to place ambience, place the microphones, snare. I'm going to next one is going to be snare bottom. Then I'm going to have hi hat. Usually we have toms. Obviously, it's uh, always good to know exactly the setup that a band has. So uh, when you know what are you preparing, you can actually create a template for a specific to some of the bands, right? Overhead one. Overhead two. What am I missing? I'm missing actually hi-hat. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move the hi-hat here. All right, and the bass, it's gonna go through DI box and one mic, need more, but here it's, I'm gonna put one to the cab for the guitars. I have a lead guitar that's gonna go with two mics on the cab and guitar lead cab two, two different mics for different flavor. And I'm gonna have guitar rhythm DI and it's gonna be guitar rhythm cab, right? Okay, so now I'm set. Next thing to do would be file, save as template. I'm going to name record band 16M and save it. So this is all set. Next thing I would do is see if my inputs are set. I already actually created a preset that was band 16 mono MLAN. I'm just going to actually save that and call it band 16 mono M plan and just uh, make sure that I have that set. Okay. What's the purpose? If I actually load anything different, change, I can always go back and remember any specific setting. And today in studios, we use actually several different setups, maybe different audio interfaces, and uh, using this preset is good because actually I can dedicate a preset to a specific hardware that I'm using. Additional to that, I can actually here in the bus column, I can, actually, I, I can name 
to whatever makes sense to me, whether actually by name, uh, the, the, the same name I actually name the tracks, or by, by the microphone right, that I'm using. That way, when I go to connect, I can actually choose and, and recognize what actually I have. All the inputs show up here, and they are named accordingly. It's much better that way than actually having mono and five, six, like generic names, and then just gets lost. You know, you, you want to be as creative as possible rather than actually losing time on, on, on troubleshooting, right? All right, so now that we actually set that, uh, I'll go and just make sure before I forget to save and overwrite, obviously, that. So I need to actually really put the same name. I want to update my template, all right? And additional thing that I want to do here is use my input channels here specifically with the compressors right so I'm gonna load on select the first one and I'm gonna load a compressor I'm not gonna set any patches or anything I'm just gonna load that and have it selected in the lower corner here I have a copy function so I can copy the whole setting here then select the next one press shift go all the way to the last of the drums uh, and just say paste that way I actually copied all the compressors on all the microphones that I want to use here and same way I can I can I can add anything anything else that I would prefer maybe maybe uh, create a specific EQ setting uh, whatnot on the so I can save with, with my template all right again save template just to make sure that I don't forget so it doesn't get lost all right, and I'm going to close. I'm not going to say this is a project and load new project here. My template shows up. Press OK, choose the folder, and bang, everything is there. I have all my channels, I have my uh, inputs, I have my uh, mixer ready, and this is it. All right, so this will be all for, for creating templates. In the next tutorial that it's connected to this, is I'm going to be talking about using the presets and possibly enhancing this workflow and speed up the process of, of creating the environment for the band to be creative. Thanks for watching. See you next time.